Welcome guys to another episode of Ricardo's Kitchen. Today we'll be doing brown stew chicken with dumplings, uh, green banana, and uh, white yam. So I'm about to prepare my chicken and show you guys how it goes, okay? Let's go. So welcome back. So we have just prepared our chicken, cleaned it, and uh, washed it off with some uh, vinegar. Here we go. And we're about to add our uh, seasoning. So this is a uh, story from Jamaica. It's called a uh, meat season, nice to pack. Here we go, take a look at it. We also have our garlic and scallion seasoning. My bad, I'm just out of camera for you guys. Here we go. So we're gonna add just a uh, half a spoon of this, a tablespoon for meat season. And as we add, we can just season it as we go along. You try not to over season or meat because it doesn't want to taste uh, that season hit the back of your throat when you put too much season on there. Another half a spoon, um, a tablespoon of uh, garlic, scallion, and all spices. Let me show you that part there. There it is. Add that. I'm not using the spoon extra, but I know exactly what the amount is, which is half a spoon. So I may not using, be using an exact spoon for it. And we're using Larry's. Now, this is pretty good. It comes with black pepper in there, so I don't need to add black pepper anymore. It's Larry's. And we're using half a spoon of this also. Here we go. And that's tablespoon. Get nice seasoning. Okay. Season nice and lovely. I'm going to also add just a teaspoon of Old Bay, just a teaspoon, that's it, good job, all right, nice one, there we go, and then we're going to put a, let me get my hands washed right here real quick, I like to keep my hands clean as I cook, as I go along, so we're going to add Add just half a teaspoon of garlic. There we go. And as the season uh, comes together nicely, get that in. Get all that nicely seasoned. This there's look and get that nicely in. We're gonna put also a um, teaspoon of browning. Is. and you could add a little more uh, just to get your chicken to that nice color that you're looking for and be careful with browning because you don't want to put too much in there your chicken would then becomes uh, super black because as you start cooking your chicken it should get that that nice brown color that you're looking for okay because it's actually brown sweet chicken there we go nicely done there we go looking good and there it is so it's all seasoned quickly for us. We're gonna put it in the uh, refrigerator and let it marinate for a couple hours because it's actually for dinner and it's uh, one o'clock right now in the evening and I'm cooking dinner by five. So it's gonna be nice and marinated for later on, okay? It can be marinated. Um, let me just give you a little backstory of what's gonna happen. So later on, I'm gonna make some dumplings, some uh, green bananas. I got some green bananas from the store and some yams. It's gonna be perfect today, okay guys? So see you later. So I'm about to make my dough. I just add flour in there. Um, this is about half pound of flour. And a little bit of cornmeal in there. There we go. Light cornmeal in my flour. And just a little bit of salt. Not too much salt, because I already put a little bit of salt also inside the pot. So I'm gonna knead this into a nice dough, okay? My flour is finished, um, made into a nice dough. And then for the interest of time, I went ahead and um, get my green bananas cleaned up and my uh, white yam. But first, I'm gonna put my flour in the pot because these bananas uh, cook pretty fast along with that white yam. So I'm gonna put my, my flour in the pot, make it with my dumpling and put it in the pot. So it's gonna cook a little bit longer than the uh, green bananas and the yam. And when I say green banana, I'm not talking about bananas that are not full. So we get some nice, good, full bananas that you can see and uh, white yam because I'm just cooking for myself pretty much and um, so let's go and make my dumplings right now I'm about to put my last dumpling in pot just points to note you want to make sure your water is bubbling and boiling to a high temperature before you put all your dumplings in okay so that they don't stick in the pot that's my last one okay look 
looking pretty good so in my uh, dumplings I add my banana along with my yam I'm gonna let that boil until these uh, become soft and my dumplings cook okay they're looking pretty nice so far my uh, dumpling banana and yam is coming along nicely and you want to make this cook for at least um, 25 to 30 minutes depending on soft your yam is you know on your, your green bananas but it's coming along very nicely so as soon as this is finished then we're going about to start our uh, chicken okay so about 20 to 25 minutes and make sure you leave your pot cover your pot lid off make sure your pot cover is off if you don't want it to over boil on the stove or mess the stove up. okay uh, dumpling is coming to a uh, stop in a few minutes um, I switch pots over to a more higher flame and I'm going to start cooking my um, chicken. Okay. So you don't want to put too much oil in there, you want to put just enough, just a little bit of oil, not too much, okay? So as we add our chicken inside the pot, we we'll let that um, get to a nice brown color. Cook through and through. And then later on, I'm going to add our seasoning, okay? Nice one, look at that. The chicken started to get nice and brown. I'm uh, just gonna slowly flip them over. So each side is nice and cooked. Okay, it's coming on lovely. Uh, we have seen that our chicken is cooked uh, to the nice brown color we're looking for. We're gonna go ahead and um, add our uh, vegetables that are prepared in inches of time. So here we got some chopped onions, some um, green onion, which is also called scallion, some thyme, uh, red, green, and uh, yellow bell peppers and some carrot and a hot pepper okay so we're going to add these uh, to our to our chicken so we just add those as soon as it cooks into the meat we're going to add a little bit more water to it and then that will be it and let it simmer down and then after that we're going to add our carrots and our uh, potatoes get my carrots and my potatoes so we're now let it simmer down for another five to seven minutes and then i uh, check back on it okay the ingredients are about to add or uh, ketchup as i always said i do love ketchup so i'm going to put my ketchup in there we go, that's enough. I'm gonna stir it and let it simmer down more, okay? There we go, stir my ketchup in. Get that nice, rich tomato paste. And then I'm gonna allow this to simmer down for another seven minutes. And then my meat, my chicken should be ready. My uh, dumpling, yam and banana is already finished. And we're waiting, so I'm gonna leave this to simmer down a little more. This should be fine in a few, few more minutes, okay? That my meat has simmered down a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and get it ready for plating out. Well, there you go guys, brown soup chicken with dumpling, banana and yam. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned for next episode. Alright, thank you.